what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video i want to bring you guys a hyper offensive team or a very strong team to help you guys push master in the brand new season so we are rocking out with a charizard life orb kyogre and choice specs calyrex team you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel definitely consider subscribing it only takes two seconds every guy's time and really helps me grow as a content creator also guys i'm streaming three plus days every single week over on twitch link is down in the description below jeans 25 on twitch definitely turn on those notifications so you know when i go live definitely pop out chat it up and say hi what's up i love seeing you guys pop out their streams it's definitely a lot of fun when you guys are there but uh let's get started here in that top left corner with the one and only shadow rider calyx with the as one ability alongside with that choice specs it's got astro barrage it's got leaf storm for coverage it's also rocking expanded force and then has trick room to counter up trick room but giving this thing a choice specs just makes it do even more damage than it already does so we're gonna be one type of pokemon left and right with this thing next pokemon is going to be kyogre another one that's restricted monster that can just take out pokemon left and right it's got drizzle it's got the life orb it's rocking water spout origin pulse ice beam and protect middle left is going to be regilecki over here with that assault vest and a transistor ability it's rocking e-web for speed control wild charge for heavy stab damage bounce for coverage and for a max airstream if dynamax and then we got assurance for another coverage move Fourth Pokemon is going to be Charizard, and Charizard is still ridiculously strong in this format, especially when Dynamax, and I haven't used him in a good bit, so definitely feels good to be using him again, because you guys know the deal with him. When you Dynamax him, or I should say, say Gigantamax him, he's just OP. He just does so much damage, and his G-Max Wildfire is super, super strong. It's got Solar Power, alongside with the Lumberry to protect it from status conditions, and it's got Heat Wave, Hurricane, Solar Beam, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our support Whimsicott with Prankster and the Focus Ash. It's rocking Energy Ball for Stab and then it has Sunny Day to set up for the Charizard. Tailwind for Speed Control and Cotton Sport to slow down opposing Pokemon. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be another support mod this, and it's going to be Clefairy over here with the Friend card. It's got Evo Light for its item and it's got Follow Me, Helping Hand, After You and Protect. So no hitting moves, it's just there for solely support. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Calyrex, Kyogre, and Charizard hyper offensive team. Let's get this video started off strong with a victory here. We're going up against a Kieran White and Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with Pokemon that I feel like I've seen before. Like, I feel like I've seen this team before, but instead of Calyrex, they had Zacian. He has the Ditto, he has the Urshfu, he has the Talon Fame for Speed Control, and then he has the Support in DD. But how should I go into this one? How should I play? I'm kind of leaning towards maybe like a Regilecki lead just for Speed Control. Or I could even go Wimscott Charizard and just like Dynamax, or I could tail him. Definitely have a lot of different options here. Definitely have a lot of different options. What do I want to do? He does have Ditto. Ditto's kind of scary, but Charizard should be faster than Kiram. This thing cooks pretty well. And I kind of just want to go into the Sunny Day, or I can just straight up tail him. What does Jeans want to do here? What do I want to do here? I could actually go into like Kyogre as a nice little lead alongside with Wimscott. Kyogre Wimscott's not bad. What's Kyogre's speed? Kyogre, can I see your speed, please? 142. Okay, that ain't too bad. I'm thinking just Wimscott and Kyogre. It really gets the work done. Wimscott, Kyogre. Bring Calyrex in the back end. And then last but not least, we could roll in with... Uh... I'm thinking Regilecki. Regilecki or Charizard. We definitely need a bit more offense here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Who do I want? Who do I want? Charizard's not bad, but Regilecki just outspeeds at the end. He does have assurance. He does have watching. I really do like him. 254. God dang, dude, this thing's so fast. The thing is so fast, it is ridiculous. But we're going to lock in Regilecki, and we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But you guys know the deal. Before battle number one even starts, you got to let me know in the comment section down below. For question of the day, what mythical Pokemon do you guys think will be the strongest in Series 13? If you guys haven't see, seen the Series 13 uh, rule set yet, mythical Pokemon are going to be allowed. So Pokemon like... Uh, like Melmetal, Mew, Deancey, Victini. It's going to be very, very cool to use them on the rank ladder. But I, ju I just think they're all going to be strong. So I don't know which one is going to be the most broke. Because they are all cr have crazy stats and they learn crazy cool moves. So cannot wait to rock out with them and use them in a battle. He's going to end up going in DD alongside with uh, Kiram. And I ain't too worried about that. I mean, Kiram's probably going to Dynamax here. But if he leaves that in DD in here, we are going to absolutely rip into it. We are going to rip into it with this water spout. I think I still send it, even if uh, Kiram goes down here. Even if Kiram does, goes down here, I think we still rip this water spout. Or not Kiram. Even if my Kyogre goes down here, I think we still rip the water spout. I'm just going to tail one here. And then j just rip it, right? Just send it. Even though it's not very effective on the Kiram, it's still going to do a big amount of damage. It's Life Orb. It's Stab. It's in the rain. It's just a huge amount of damage all around. So I'm just going to send it, even if we're going to go out here. I will take it all. I'll take this damage all day. I could actually Dynamax him. I could have Dynamax Kyogre, but I just didn't think it was, that was the play. 
I just didn't think that was a play. But this guy's in a tough spot. He's sitting there like, dude, what do I do? I don't think he really knows what to do up against this. But I knew this was going to be a good lead. He kind of counters a lot. Well, it doesn't like counter a lot, but it's solid up against a bunch. He doesn't have too many counters to it. So, I do like this. I do like this because Kieran's probably going to Dynamax, yeah. And he's probably going to go for a Wyrmwind to get off as much damage as he can. And if he doesn't double down into my Kyrie, Kyrie should get off another turn next turn. And then I can just switch from Water Spout to Origin Pulse because I will have damage taken on me. And just roll from there. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. I could definitely... Uh, I could have a cotton spore after this, but we have Tailwind. I feel like Tailwind's fine. I feel like Tailwind is definitely fine. Let's see what he does. He's not going to protect anybody. So, indeed, he's going to take a huge chunk of damage. Kiram's going to take a little bit of damage here. And Kyogre's going to drop this full HP water spell. Look at that damage. Look at that. Oh, wow. Dude, that indeed, he was able to eat. Guy dying special defense boost. Definitely helped him out, but still, I love that damage all around. He's going to take out my Wim's Cot. I'm kind of cool with that. We have Tailwind set up. Uh, we can Origin Pulse take out the, uh, the what's called next turn. And we'll roll from there. The Wimps Cat's gonna pop Focus Ash. Buffets are going to take him out. It's all good. And I wonder what Indeedy's going for. Indeedy, what are you going for? Expanding Force, maybe? What are you going for here? What are you going for here? I'm gonna end up going for Expanding Force. Okay, so that's fine. That is totally fine. I could bring out my Calyx, but I think I just won't. I mean, I think probably has Max Quake, but we do have a Soul Fest, which is really good. I really adore. I could roll on the Reg Lucky here. Ooh, Buffets might take him out. Buffets do take him out. Okay. The Buffets do take out. I could go into Calyrex here. And Dynamax to Calyrex. At this point, Cal yeah, I think we do that. Because at this point, Calyrex outspeeds. And I could drop Special Defense with a, 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 um, the Ghost move, the Max Phantasm. Wait, that drops Special Defense, right? Not Defense. No, it drops regular Defense. Never mind. Um, what do I want to do? I could go Regilecki. Regilecki's not too bad. But I kind of just want to Dynamax this Pokemon and roll out. I could drop uh, special defense with the max darkness here, but who do I think he's gonna roll out into? I don't really know, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go into Calyx and then see who he rolls out into, and then choose if I want to Dynamax from there. I'm gonna toss my Cali. Let's see what he does. And he's gonna toss his Calyx. Okay. We're gonna go Calyx v Calyx. I mean, we have Tailwind, so we outspeed. Yeah, I think he might protect, so I might not even go after his Calyx. I don't know. I might Dyn I might Dynamax. He might not even protect. I could double down. I mean, choice specs are kind of with it. And we should have two turns left in Tailwind. We have three. Wow. Three. I totally forgot. That was turn one. But yeah, at this point, I think we just drop Astro Barrage. We choice into it. And we could just get after Kirim here. I'm going to try to get off as much damage as I can on the Kirim. But I do think he I do think he protects. I really do think he protects. I mean, if he doesn't protect, then uh, Calyx goes down to Buffets, even if it's Sash. And then we double down to Kirim. We get off some big damage. And then we come out with Red Lucky and Dynamax. I kind of like this. I like this. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. We do have the Soul Vessel on Regilecki, so hopefully his final Pokemon is a special attacker in the back end. And I'm trying to think who it could be. Maybe it might be Urshifu. It might be Urshifu. Urshifu's kind of scary. He can do some big old damage. And it does have Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Let's see what he does. He does not protect, so Focus Hatch probably going to poke out here. Yeah, so that thing's going to go down to Buffets. And I wonder if this Ice Beam can do enough damage to take that thing out. Ice Beam, do it. Do enough damage. It does not. That hurts his soul. So he's probably going to pick up a double kill here. But I still don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. Unless he changes up weather. Ash is going to fly through here. That is going to KO both of us, right? This is bye-bye to both of us. Yeah. That picks up the double kill. And he can't change up weather. So Calyrex goes down here. Kiram has one more turn in Dynamax. And I cannot guard. But I do have speed. I do have speed all the time. I do have speed. So I might just want to get rid of the Kiram next turn. It really depends. Because I know he has Quake. I know he has Wormwind, Quake, and... and one and then protect so i don't think we're sitting in a bad position i really do not think we're sitting in a bad position considering we have this assault vest we get off some big damage we kind of roll from there so i'm gonna go regilecki i could boost my speed but again we have two turns left in tailwind which is huge we have two turns left in tailwind so regilecki's gonna be my final pokemon he's gonna ditto me he's gonna ditto me and i really don't mind i really don't mind that considering we are dynamax considering we are dynamax i could actually take speed from him which would probably be my best bet, right? Take speed from him. And take out the Kiram. Yeah. Definitely my best bet. Especially if Tailwind ends soon. But we're just hoping he's not max guarding here. I would love to just get rid of this Kiram. He guards that wasted off a turn. But I don't really see that Ditto beating me out if I get rid of this Kiram this turn. I do not see it happening. I do not see it happening. So as long as he doesn't max guard here, I feel like we have this match on lockdown. Which is great. Which would be awesome. It'll be amazing to get this video started off with a big fat W. 
I just love this team so much. So many hyper offensive meta Pokemon that just help you push master here. I feel like this team's super, super strong. It really is. So we're gonna Dynamax or Regilecki. I feel like we waited perfect time to actually Dynamax or Regilecki. And as long as he does a max card, right? He does not. Beautiful. Airstream's gonna come out here. We're gonna say bye bye to Kirim. We're gonna take speed from uh, Regilecki, even though we have it in the Tailwind. But once Tailwind ends, we have the speed. And wait, did that thing not transform? I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused why that thing's not not a not a Regilecki yet. What's it doing? Now it's get wait. I'm so confused. I am so confused. Why is it now transforming the Regilecki? I am so confused. Why didn't its ability do it? You guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below. I'm confused because usually they hop in a battle and then transform, but you know it's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna rip into a Max Darkness and we got this match on lock. We have this match on lockdown. On lovely little lockdown. Cool, dope. Cancel battle, yo. We're just gonna we're just gonna two shot you. We are just going to two shot you, kind sir. Look at Regilecki doing his hops, dude. It's so much bigger when he's Dynamaxing. He gets some hang time, yo. It's not Air Jordan. It's Air Regilecki. Look at that boy. Look at him hopping. <laughs> I love it, yo. He's just doing his quick little bounces. It's like he's on a little trampoline. How high he's bouncing. And he's kind of like floating in the air for a second. Let's see what happens here. We're going to drop a darkness here. I just don't think this thing stands a chance up against me, right? That does some damage. And another one will take him out. Another one will take him out. And we'll drop actually a uh, special defense. So I could go into an E-Web and go from there. But he's just going to go for a wild charge. We completely soak that. That's the light work. And he's going to take a big deal. It's all over. It is all over. Buff, it's going to fly. Even if he protects, I think we take him out. But yeah, that's GG's. Tailwind's gone, but we have the Airstream. So our speed is there. That's exactly why I did use the Airstream. It was for later later purposes. And yeah, that's GG's, right? He doesn't have protect. If he, if he just imposter me, he actually doesn't have protect. So we got him. We got him. One to know for today's video. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Perfect Dynamax from us, too. We waited out so nicely. I knew that the cat or the uh, Kai Ogre and uh, Wimscott would be a nice little lead. And then I had the decision to Dynamax Calyrex or not. And I was just like, dude, let's not go with it. Let's not do it. I ended up not doing it. Saved my Reg Lucky for the back end. And Reg Lucky definitely came in clutch for a late, a late game Dynamax. He goes to Wild Charge. And I'm, how's he outspeed me? I'm confused with that. Oh, no. He transformed after the fact. So we just won the speed tie. All right. It makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Max Darkness comes out here. Uh, that works too. That works too. One no for today's video. Let's hop into a second. Let's go back to back with the scene. Let's get back after it in battle number two. We are going up against a heavy trick room team right here with Hatterene, Torkoal, Calyrex, Indeedee, Galarian Slowbro, and Oranguru. So like I said, heavy trick room team. I kind of just want to lead Calyrex and Kyogre. Double down on moves, double down on shots, get off some ridiculous damage. I feel like that's really, really good. If he wants to go into like a follow me Pokemon, we're just sending water spouts and astral brushes left and right. So that might be our best bet. I really do like that. I could also bring in Charizard here for late game back end purposes. And then last but not least, could go Regilecki and just roll out with all my hyper offensive Pokemon. Or I could go with Clefairy. Clefairy is actually not too bad, especially in Trick Room. It is so slow, I can actually use after you and, uh, give it to a Pokemon. So I kind of like that. So we're going to lead our Calyrex and Kyogre, try to counter up on the Trick Room. And then if not, we'll have the Clefairy in the back end to send it use and kind of just roll into the battle that way. So I don't mind it. I don't mind it, but I just don't see him stopping this, right? I just don't see him stopping this, right? This Calyrex and, uh, and this Kyogre. I just don't, I just don't see it stopping. Like, I just don't see it being stopped. Who's eating up a Water Spout and an Astro Barrage? Maybe Indeedee? it doesn't get affected by that. A Ranguru's gonna come out here. This might this might be the good play by him. I might have to pop a trick room here. I might have to pop a trick room with my Calyrex. See what he wants to do. We shall see. But if he doesn't have a special defense boost with like uh, Psychic Seeds, I feel like my Kyogre can just take it out. Or I can Dynamax and go after But both these Pokemon learn follow me. Both of these guys learn follow me. Psychic Surge is going to fly out here. And it's going to get hit. And he does have the Psychic Seeds, which makes me just want to Dynamax, but at the same time, no. I'm going to go into an Expanded Force. That might be my best bet. Even though it's going to be not very effective. And we actually, let's just do this. I don't, actually, I don't want to pop the Trick Room. I just want to swap into Clefairy here. Might be my play. Might be my play. Just swap into Clefairy and Water Spout out. I don't know what I want to do. Ah! Hate this game. 
has no effect on both of them, so there's no point in going into it. Let's pop a trick room. It's water spell. Let's do it. Let's pop a trick room, try to counter up their trick room with that. I'm gonna withdraw in DD. You're gonna go into Torkoal. Pop a trick room that way. That's cool. Smart play. Smart play. Smart play. Smart play. Water spout is still gonna do a nice chunk of damage onto the Torkoal. Water spout's gonna fly. He's probably sending trick room with a Rangaroo. And wow, we just dumped on Torks. We just dumped on Torkoal. Torkoal, get him on out of here. Hopefully that Rangaroo is going for trick room. We're gonna send it first. It's gotta be going for trick room, right? It's gotta be going for trick room. There's no other move he can go for. Right? Go trick room. Let's go. Let's go. So great call by jeans. We beat the trick room. We don't get after it now. Now I can uh I'm gonna have to swap. I'm I'm twi I'm twist spec into am I twist spec into trick room? Is that how it works? Can you twist spec into a non-hitting move? Can that work? I think it does. DD's gonna come out here. Um now he's just gonna pop another trick room. And at this point I just go here. Can I pop another trick room? I don't know if I can ask Barrage. What a swap. Look up Barry now. Since he set the drought, I might just go here. Do a double swap. I'm gonna double swap into Clefairy and uh, Charizard. That is gonna be my play, because I can air for you and drop a heat if, uh, if I want to. And save my Dynamax for another Pokemon. I kinda dig that. I kinda like that. I kinda like the double swap here. I kinda like the double swap. And if he doesn't go into Trick Room, it's totally fine. So we swap the fairy, we swap the ogre. We'll take rain later in the match. And we'll go from there. I like that. I don't mind it. Band of Force comes through here. That's fine. We have the friend guard. Should be able to soak pretty well. Yeah. Up ahead. And then Trick Room's gonna come out here. So yeah, that's cool. I could drop a heat wave. I'm thinking of just popping a heat wave, right? After you into a heat wave? Would not be bad. Solar Power's gonna come out here. Where do I Dynamax? No, I don't think I Dynamax. Which after you and heat wave it. Drop this lovely heat wave. We have solar power. We have the drought. It's stab. So we'll be able to get off a decent amount of damage here. I do like it. And he probably isn't expecting my Clefairy to go first and just pop up after you. So. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. This is what's so good about this. Right in the trick room after he's going to come out here for Charizard. Charizard's going to go first. Heat wave's going to fly. And we're going to do some big damage on both these guys, right? We're going to damage. Give me some burns. Give me some burns. No burns. And instructs going to come out here. So double expanding force. That isn't too bad. Isn't too bad because I can legit bring out. If if he just takes out my Charizard here, I would love it. Charizard should go down. Didn't he, didn't he extract on me? Double expanding force. Clefairy eat. Clefairy eat. I need your Clefairy. I need your Clefairy eat. Oh, he picked up the double. That's a rough double. That's a rough double. That is a real rough double. That is a real rough double. Because if Clefairy survived there, honestly, I would have just. Went into Kyogre after you and rolled out from there. Maybe I should have Dynamax. Maybe I should have Dynamax Charizard there. Could have been a solid play, but nah, it's all good. Kyogre's gonna come out here. Kyogre's gonna come out here. And we have to decide who I want to Dynamax here. Who do I want to Dynamax here? I think I Dynamax Calyrex, right? Or do I just protect an Untrick Room and then send, it, send a move next turn? I'm at play, right? Do that actually, that probably wasn't my play. That was kind of dumb. He's just gonna do that same thing and pick up a double kill, right? That was kind of dumb. Jeans. That was kind of dumb. But if Calyx is down here, we're choice into that uh trick room. Oh, but then I could Dynamax Calyx. We have options. Bombies can come out here. I'm totally cool with that. What's a Ranguru going? Don't you dare tell me Ranguru's popping trick room. I'm gonna yawn. It's fine. We're popping trick room, and I could Dynamax. I'm gonna have to Dynamax that Pokemon, right? I feel like I have to Dynamax that Pokemon. Water Spout will take out this guy. Um, I might actually save my Dynamax. What do I do? I'm yawned. I'm yawned. I really do want a Dynamax. But it's like, dude, I can't really do anything. I don't know, because he still has Dynamax too. I have to go into Trick Room again? Oh my god, this game stinks. I feel like I might just Dynamax and... Hope that he wakes up soon and just already here, I guess. Like, I'm going to wake up, but I might as well get off some damage, right? That's tough, but I, I have to Dynamax him. If not, I'm choice back. Choice into this. Uh, I guess we'll Overgrowth. I guess we'll Overgrowth. This is tough, but yeah, we, we, we have to Dynamax here. 
We have to Dynamax here. I'm going to go to sleep, but it's like that. And he's going to come out with the Calyx. He's going to Dynamax him. And I'm trying to think if we can... Is there a shot that we can win this battle? There is a shot we can definitely win this battle. Because I'm going to Water Spout here. And I'm going to Water Spout next turn. And then I'm going to have to hope Calyx wakes up rather soon. But, mm. Tough, yo. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> the Yawn's coming out hot. I was hoping I had a terrain I could change up to actually just win the battle. But he's going to end up going for Follow Me. It don't even matter. Kylox is going to change up terrain, which is going to work actually really well for us. I'm actually glad we're changing this terrain to Overgrowth. Because that gives my Kyogre back more HP. Boosting his damage a little bit for every Water Spout he uses. And that is going to bring him down to that. And then Water Spout is going to fly out here. But not, not a bad trigger, but the Yawn did me dirty. The Yawn did me dirty. Because that was a solid play from us. Just protect the Kyogre. Pop a nice little trigger and roll from there. And then he yawned me, and I got a choice spec that can't be. I can't go for another trick room. But just say I went for a trick room this turn. That gives Calyrex all the speed. That's going to give his final Pokemon the Calyrex all the speed. But not a bad battle. Right now. Really, really close. Coming down to the wire. Calyrex is going night, night, right? Good night, Calyrex. We're going to get some HE back, which is good. And we're going to say night, night to him. So hopefully you can have like a one turn sleep and get off one turn of Dynamax. But dude, this one's going to be tough. This one is going to be tough. I could protect, but. I don't think there's a point in protecting. I think I just shot Water Spout, looking to get off as much damage as I possibly can. And go from there. Right, we have speed onto this guy. He ain't eat berries, no big deal. I don't think he can one-shot any of my guys. So Water Spout's going to fly. And we're going to go for the Phantasm if we can land it. But obviously, we're not going to be able to move this turn because we haven't even taken one turn to sleep yet. So here comes the Dynamax from Kyle. It's coming down to the wire, yo. I think it's going to come down to how many turns I sleep. I feel like I should be, I feel like I should be fine. No, I need a one-turn sleep. Maybe two turns sleep, depending on how much Kyogre can eat up. Because Kyogre can do a lot of damage with Water Spout and Orange Pulse in this ring. It's just neutral. It's normal effective onto him. You got the Rain Boost. You got the Life Orb Boost. You got the Stab Boost. Just stacking on top of each other. Kyogre is going to be slumped. Saw that from a mile away. And then Water Spout is going to poke here. How much? Half damage? Some nice damage. That is some lovely damage. Half damage coming out on the board. Who's he going after? He's going to go for a Quake. And he's going to boost his special defense. Just smart play. Real smart play. Kyogre, you should be able to eat that. You should be able to eat that. You do. That's lovely. That's gorgeous. That's huge. E. That's a huge. E. That that leads me to kind of think that we got this match pretty much wrapped up, but not really because again, a three-turn sleep can do me dirty. At this point, we have to go to the Orange Pulse. Orange Pulse can do the most damage for us, and we're gonna hope Kalox has a one-turn sleep because if he has one-turn sleep, that's GG's. Go ahead, wake up, Kalox. Just say, just say, good game. Just say you're the better horse. Go ahead, tell him that you're the better horse. But yo, that's a sick picture right there. Just both the horses, Shadow Rider and Ice Rider, just like locking eyes and Dynamax. That looks sick. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. Because this is my last turn of Dynamax. Even though I still think an Astral Barrage. Oh, are we choice? We'll be choosing Trick Room after this. Would we or does it reset? I think we might need to wake up here. Wake up, Calyx. Yeah, wake up and just, just wake up. Just do me a favor and wake up. Just do me a favor. Wake up here. Do us all a favor and wake up. It was all a favor. No, Calyx. Go to Origin Pulse. Get a crit. Do him dirty. And so Origin Pulse. Who's he going after here? Who are you going after? That's the real question. You go for a Hailstorm. He's gonna he's gonna take me out with Buffets, which hurts the soul. Actually, the terrain might the terrain might win us the game. This terrain might win us the game. This terrain heal up first. This terrain heal up first. It does not. That hurts the soul. I think we just lost. I think we just lost to a choice spec. Unless it, I don't think it resets. I think I think we lost this one. That hurts. Maybe we should have Dynamax Kyogre. Just kept popping trickering back and forth. But it definitely could have done us dirty. It definitely could have done us dirty. But mm, if we're choosing a if we if we have a shot at uh doing this, but I think we're choice, right? Ashabash. Yeah, dude, we're choosing the trick room. Oh my god, dude, that hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. I'm gonna have to run this battle. Unless he's gonna run the battle. No, he, he's not gonna run the battle. No shot. No shot he runs the battle. I'm just going to run it. We're going to go 1-1 one one for today's video. Let's hop into a third and grab ourselves that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's get after it. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. We're going up against a Groudon and Xerneas team with Incineroar, Amoongus, Blacephalon, which is definitely a scary little Pokemon. And then he has Blastoise showing in that back end. But how should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I definitely want to bring Charizard in here because he's going to set the sun himself. I could take speed from everybody, but I feel like a Pokemon like Calyrex should just take an easy little lead here. Right, Calyrex go into go in Regilecki here. I could go into Charizard as well. I just want to go straight into Charizard. Charizard Calyrex, I like it. Bring 
Kyogre in the back end and Regilecki. Just like stack the offensive line. <laughs> like, dude, these guys are gonna rip. These guys are gonna rip. I'm kinda with it all day. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. Yeah, let's just stack the team. We got Calyrex, we got Kyogre, we got Charizard, and we got Regilecki. I am kind of scared of the Blacephalon lead with the Groudon, but in that case, we would just have Charizard and we'll Good old Char Char. Good old Char Char. Plus, then we have Calyrex who outspeeds pretty much, I think, all of his Pokemon, right? Yeah. We can kind of just go after it and get after it that way. Let's see who he ends up leading. He's going to end up leading these two little boogers. So these two little boogers get the lead. Um, I'm not too worried about that. I don't mind it too much. I think just Astro Barrage, right? I think definitely an Astro Barrage. Maybe into a Wildfire at this point. Do I Wildfire? Let me see your Pokemon. Because who's going to eat up a Wildfire? If he swaps an Incineroar, yeah. That's pretty much it. I could go Expanded Force. Well, this is going to be Choice. I got to remember, it's Choice. Choice specking into a move. So I could Expanded Force, take him out, and then just uh, slide the shot over. Would be an overgrowth. I kind of want to do that. I wonder what Blast Wade's really going to do here. And I don't think a max overgrowth can take him out. I really do not think so. Oh, let's do this. Let's choice back into her. Actually, let's just do that. Let's run it. Let's give that a shot. So we're going to choice to the expanded force just because of Moogus is a pain. We'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see what he wants to do. We'll set the, we'll set the grassy terrain. I mean, Blast Wade is definitely still a little scary. Especially if he Dynamaxes, he might be able to just one tap me. But I feel like we, could, we should be fine. I, think, I feel like he, he might just go for like a point. Or he might even swap the Blast Wade. You never know. Or he could go for a Rage Rider. He has a lot of different options he can go for. But expanded force should just be able to rip into this Moogus thing out. I mean, it's going to Dynamax Blast Wade. Rather scary. It is rather scary. Do not like that. I do not like that one. Not one bit. Not one bit. I do have Regilecki in the back end. Regilecki can do a lot of work onto Blastoise, especially after it has taken damage from a uh, Overgrowth. But again, Overgrowth's not going to do that much damage considering it's not stat. But yeah, I think we should be fine. Is Rage Powder going to poke here? He protects Moogus. What a smart little protect. What a smart little protect. What a smart little protect. It's a huge protect. It's a great protect from him. He's gonna go after my Calyrex. I don't know what he's gonna do. We're gonna overgrowth here. A little bit of overgrowth action. How much damage am I doing? Like I said, it's it's not doing that much. It's not doing that much. That's why I want to switch up my turn kind of like last second, but we had like 10 seconds to choose a turn, so I kind of just kind of just rushed into it. He's gonna end up going for darkness and he's gonna take out my Calyrex. I'm gonna get rid of my Calyrex. Wow, what a play by him. I'll give it to him all day. So I can wildfire this next shot. Which I probably have to do, right? Probably have to do. Special defense is going to drop, and then I'm just going to bring out Reggie. Good old Reggie. Let's go, Reggie. Get up in here, and we'll save her. We'll save her Kyogre for the back. End. Come on, Reggie. Let's do this, Reggie. So I'll wildfire into a Moongus, and then I'll just wild charge across. Right? I don't mind that. I could bounce and dip this turn. I, th I just think we have to just get off as much damage as we can. So we'll do that. We will go for this too. We have speed already. I think we're fine with Wildfire. Plus, I want to set it up and get the chip. I just have Candy Need rolling too. Candy Need's chipping on the left. Actually, no, he didn't He didn't shoot to Candy Need. He went for Darkness. Maybe he thinks we're guarding this turn, but we are not. He's going to go for Rage Powder. That kind of hurts his soul. I wish Charizard went first. Should have bounced. Should have dipped. Wild Charge didn't come through here. It's not going to do that much damage to that thing, but we are going to be able to take out a Moogus. And as long as Regilecki can survive another turn, kind of cool with this. Kind of cool with this. Wildfire's gonna come through here. We're gonna say bye bye to you. And he's probably gonna throw out anybody but ground. Anybody but ground. But I think I feel like he's just saving ground. Huh? Gonna go for Canyon. Go after Charizard, I'm hoping. I don't know who he's going after here. Let's go after Charizard and Charizard just gets absolutely ripped. Just gets absolutely ripped. So we're hoping he throws that ground on. I really am. But dude, Canyon just ripping dude it's just ripping so i'm hoping he throws that ground on and i just saw kyogre and take weather that would be like our only shot at winning this battle right that would be our only shot at winning this battle the wildfire still chips off some damage on him that's not too bad but then the grass terrain is really neglecting a lot of that it is neglecting a lot of that we're gonna roll in the kyogre here water spout should be able to do still a decent amount of damage on the blastoids but not like a crazy amount not like crazy amount. Hopefully he goes into Groudon. That would be dope, but he probably doesn't, right? If he's smart, he wouldn't. 
two wheels into Xerneas. Okay, so Xerneas is going to fly through here. So I could definitely E-Web and slow down. I probably have to E-Web slow down. The reason I want to E-Web and slow down is because I don't want that Geomancer set up and him just roll into it. So I'm going to slow down everybody, chip up some damage on him, and then just roll into that one. Spout. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because if he doesn't protect Xerneas, he goes down. And I'm thinking he might protect the, the, the Blast Woods here. I think he might protect the Blast Woods here. Or he might just hard swap in the ground on at this point. But at that point, we can still get off a lot of damage with a Water Spout. Water Spout can still do a lot of damage even even without the uh, rain. Especially on the ground, it's super effective. It's stab. We have Life Orb on top of that. It's just such a strong move. But I don't think we're sitting in a bad position. He's going to withdraw. Okay, withdraw is him. That is fine. I think he's going to set up a Geomance here. I think he sets up a Geomance. He's going to go into Groudon, right? Groudon's going to come out here. Yeah, he's going to change up that weather. Like I said, still should be able to do a huge chunk of damage, but I don't think we can take out this Xerneas. Yeah. Which kind of hurts a little bit. Which kind of hurts a little bit. But here goes E-Web. Which is going to slow down Xerneas. Like I said, I cannot afford to let that thing set up Geomance. E-Web, we slow it down. Can somehow this water spot take it out? I highly doubt it, but that would be a miracle. That would be really cool. We do big damage on the ground. We don't come close to taking out Xerneas. And hopefully he's not going for Geomance, but he's definitely going to do that. He goes for Geomance. Okay, so his speed's only plus one. What's called still might be able to outspeed our Reggie. But his special defense is through the roof now. It's through the roof. It's through the roof. That's tough. We need crits. We need crits. Do indeed need crits. What do I do from here? What do I do from here? I could bounce and look at that shot, but I think he just drops a gleam, right? I think he just drops a gleam. We have to go into an orange pulse. And oh, I forgot about it. I have the wildfire damage chipping. I have wildfire damage chipping. <laughs> I have it chipping. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that does some damage there. Uh. I don't know what I do. I think I have to roll into an Origin Pulse. That Geomance is terrifying. I just like he still might be able to outspeed uh, Xerneas. At this point, I could just go for like an Insurance or even a Wild Charge. Wild Charge might be able to take him out. It would be beautiful. And then I think I just roll into an Ice Beam because I got to rely on this, this shot actually taking out Xerneas. He has no defense boost. Much like he hits pretty hard. He's going to end up protecting Xerneas. That's fine. That's fine. Can Kyogre go first? Kyogre, outspeed, please. Outspeed, Kyogre. Let's go. Kyogre outspeeds. We take him out. Beautiful. That's nice. And this is tough. I mean, that actually helps us out a little bit because Wildfire should chip another turn here. Help him Wild Charge, maybe take him out. Because again, Wild Charge, I should be able to outspeed. But he probably is ripping the fake out. So I might just double protect here. Right? He's got to have fake out with the, uh, with the Blast Switch, right? Did he do that first turn? I'm trying to remember what his first turn was. I'm trying to remember what his first turn was. What was his first turn? He led the Blastoids alongside with, uh... Who was it? Amoongus. And he just straight up Dynamax. I think he has Fake Out. He's gotta be rocking Fake Out. So I, I gotta... I gotta protect. I gotta protect. I gotta protect. I gotta double down and protect. I don't have Protect with him. That, that hurts the soul. That does hurt. That makes me just want to go into this. Straight Origin Pulse. Please don't fake out. Don't fake me out. Don't do it. Saw it coming from my way. Dude, I want to put Oh, <gasps> you faked out Kyogre. I'll take that. Is that KO? Let's go. Dude, that's GG's. That is GG's. He just made a mistake. He just lost the game for himself. He just lost the game for himself. That's huge. That's huge. Granted, he probably thought that Regilecki was special attacking because he... Actually, no. We, we tried to send a Wild Charge. That's GG's. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Opponent makes a mistake. He should have faked out the Regilecki and dropped the Dazzling Lame. That would have been GG's. That would have been GG's because my physical attack move was the only move that I was going to be able to take out Xerneas. That is huge. Let's go. Regilecki outspeeds now. I'm just going to drop a Wild Charge. That's going to be game set. Your boy goes 2 and 1 for today's video, which is absolutely amazing with this hyper offensive team. Played really good with it, too. I like this team. Like I said, it's one of those teams that you can just push the high ladders with. But he's just going to cancel it because Regilecki is just going to bump into him and say, See you later. Doesn't even cancel it. Wild Charge coming in hot. See you later. Blastoise. That is GG. There is, ladies and gentlemen, taking this hyper offensive team on the ranked double ladder and going 2-1 and, and grabbing ourselves a winning.
like i said i showcased this team because i want to bring you guys a nice team to push master ball tier in the final season for series 12. this team's amazing you got the kyogre you got the calyrex doing some big damage with double hitting moves she also has this charizard Wimscott to pair up well and then you got reg like you can come in really anywhere and then also clefairy is really good in trick room and a great little support on for the back end but guys that is gonna be for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously you gotta rock out make sure you spread some positive day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody